What's up guys, Franco here, nextlevelballplayer.com. Uh, awesome honor to hang out with uh, Ned Yost, head coach of the Kansas City Royals. Thanks for taking a few minutes. Um, so just starting off, when it comes to younger ball players, um, really, what do you see as the hardest transition for them uh, in the game of baseball, especially at the big league level? Well, you know, everybody at the big league level's got talent. You know, if you didn't have talent, you wouldn't be there. Um, but it's just, you know, it seems like when I came up to the big leagues, we understood and knew the game better. You know, our kids now, uh, there's still a lot of teaching that goes on. Uh, even at the big league level, uh, um, baseball fundamentals, baseball strategy, um, what it takes to be a winning type player, instead of just getting up there and uh, swinging the bat and hitting home runs and hitting doubles and catching the ball and throwing the ball. You know, there's a mental side of the game uh, that... I think uh, has fallen behind a little bit and, and uh, the majority of our job is continuing to teach that winning type baseball. Yeah. How would you describe like the winning ball player, the type of ball player that you want to make the core of your team? Well, we, those are kids that, that what we're looking to do is, is to be one, good teammates and good team players. Um, you know, what, what, what we want them to do is to figure out how to get on base. It doesn't always have to be by a single. It doesn't always have to be by a double or a home run. It can be a walk. It can be an error. Uh, and then, you know, play fundamental baseball. Get on. Next guy moves them over. The next guy drives them in. We like our kids to be fundamentally sound and defensive. Um, we like our kids to be athletic. Um, we like our kids to throw strikes. Um, so all of that, all of that is important at the big league level uh, if you want to win baseball games. Yeah. Um, Al Scorton was quoted a lot about kind of taking the outfield very serious during batting practice. Has that been going on for a while, or is that just something that kind of caught on this last year? No. Ever since I, ever since Gordy moved to the outfield when he came back. He's always played two batting practice groups as it were a game. He pushes everybody away from left field. He positions himself out there, and, and he plays every ball off the bat like it was the game. Uh, and, of course, you see the dividends that pay now. He's extremely talented. But, you know, his first three years as an outfield, he's won three gold gloves. And last year, a platinum glove. So, you know, hard work pays off. Yeah. Um, would you say it's the biggest differentiator between good and great baseball players? Uh, well, again, that's a hard question to answer because a lot of that is talent-based. You know, um, you can be a good baseball player without being a great baseball player. You yeah. know, you can you can go above your talent level depending on your smarts, depending on how fearless you are on a baseball field, and uh, if you've got good work ethic, I've always believed that. Um, you can accomplish anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.